You know the sh thing about Dallas is I bought that new bike. You know, or actually, you know where I'm jealous of you is I bought my new bike. You know how many days I've gotten to ride it? Maybe. And that was when I took it with, with a client and we drove up to Frisco. And it wasn't even until we got past like Addison that there was no traffic. I've tried to ride it like six days here. Traffic everywhere you go. You must be in the same boat though. I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy an enclosed trailer when I get my new car. I don't know if I'm gonna do a truck or a G wagon yet, but whatever I get, I'm gonna buy. Whatever I buy is gonna be able to tow, and I'm gonna get a trailer and start trailering out somewhere like to the tracks or something. My office isn't very clean. Why? May I ask why he's videotaping? Are he just like following you around, like videotaping uh, your life? Or what? we do a day in the life series on YouTube. Oh, wow, okay. And so it's been extremely, extremely popular. Oh, nice, okay. I'll just give you that. So. Okay. Oh. okay, so with these, these belong to a client. He bought them. He wants to make sure that they are what he bought a while back. Okay. Um, so that's why he won't tell me anything about them, which is fine. I understand that. Okay. And then based on whatever information I take back to him, he may want to sell them. So. Can I call these? Measurements off to you real quick if you want to sit in there real fast while I share why Joanne's gone and then I'll I'll do these really quick because it's easier for me just to call the numbers off to her. 4.9 millimeters, 4.6 millimeters, and then the balance should be only two left is 4.5 millimeters. VS1, VS2 average. Uh, do you know if any of them are certified? I don't know. Anthony? It tests the fluorescence. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Weight on the necklace is 55.26 grams. Platinum on the necklace. Okay. Nice. Do you know where you got them? I don't. He didn't tell me anything. It's in a William Noble oh, okay. pouch, so I'm maybe, and he's local here, Okay. so I'm guessing maybe Bill Noble. Um, so my experience with athletes is everyone knows who they are. Everyone knows how much money they make. So when they walk into jewelers, the first consensus is rip them off. Oh, yeah. And they do. They get ripped off all the time. I've, I've, yeah. had, I've, had, I've seen some fully... Uh, fully diamond or fully bust down watches yeah. that are fake watches with real diamonds. And let me, the, I'm sorry to interrupt you because I'm going to get oh, them. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Moving, sorry. sorry. So let me get read these off to her really quick. Because I know they're, I'm holding them up doing what they do. Sure, sure. 12.34 uh, length. Width is 11.09. The depth is... 7.32 and then I can take it from here <laughs> thank you good morning sorry about that. <laughs> Be surprised this isn't certified. Would this would be certified because it's such a large, important, good quality diamond? That it is certified. I would be surprised if it's not. Right. So. Well, and um, if it came from Bill, from Noble, Bill, yeah. I can't imagine it. I, I know there, there's nothing. Yeah. To worry about, but, but it's not what I think is. Yeah. I gotta do it They've for, got him, it, for yeah. the client. But no, I've met Bill. We've done some business together. Great, great guy. Great team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I got this report over to you. Uh, Thursday, would that be okay? Sure. Yes, it is tomorrow, so yeah. So, okay, that'd be, that'd be perfect. Tomorrow. Okay. All righty. We'll put it in your name. We'll get it over to you. All right. Thanks, Steve, Thank I you. appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. You have a good, uh, have a good day. You too. Talk soon.
Batman, I'll pass on the Kermit. What? What? I Why? hate that. You know that, bro. Whatever, dude. You're gonna be famous. I know, but okay. wave. Edit. Say, Edit. say hi to Murad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> GMT Rose Gold All. Okay, send me that. Anything else? That, anything, what else do you think? Uh, all these. As many, as many Oyster Flex Daytonas as you can get. Uh, any Oyster Flex Daytona, white gold, rose gold, yellow gold. Gold Atmosphere 2, I'll take. Yes, I'll take. Well, how much is it, 40? But it's brand new. 2021. Uh, I'll take it. Submariner blue face you have, gold? I have tons. No, two-tone black I got. Blue face, you have any? I have like five. You? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Good price. I paid. Here, I'll get all my prices. Just text me the cost and the specs on every uh, 116, 613, two tone blue we have. The blue Z? Yes. Any of them that we have available, still text me the specs and our cost. Give me about eight minutes, I'll have that to you. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Chocolate Sundust or Chocolate Roman? Ro Sundust Roman's good. Okay, Sundust Roman. So I'll but take Chocolate that. Roman's better. Which one? Chocolate Roman. Chocolate better. Roman. I'll take yeah. the chocolate Roman. The how much is it? Oyster Flex Rose Gold. Sky. Mm. Selling? Yes. How much are they? How much are they? Below retail. Forty-five. Forty-five. No. That's old style. I know. How much? It's not. That's not. None of it's factory though. No. How much? I need to replace the watch is why. 65 is my cost, so 10%. What up, dude? I figured it's easier to just call than text. Um, yeah. What did you pay me for that one? I can't remember. I think 9,500. Okay, so this one is, so my cost is 72 on this one. It's the same same watch, but all stainless steel, same clasp, everything. But it's a Jubilee bracelet. So I didn't know if you wanted two-tone, if you wanted, that oyster bracelet. I couldn't remember if you had specifics on that watch. But if honestly, dude, honestly, like this, we're better. you can't. The prices have gone up. So that watch now is over 10 grand. Okay. And, and well, I can. I'll, I'll pay more. Why don't I just for... service that one? What's wrong with that one? It just it, it won't hold time. Water in 24 hours. I know. It probably just needs an adjustment. When I bought it, it, it probably didn't have a service yet. It takes a week to service, and it'll run new and have a one-year warranty. Then it'll From be a, then, no, 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 no. That would be a waste of money. It'd take two months to get done from Rolex. My watchmaker's here in Frisco. He can have it done in a okay. week, week and a half, and I'll cover okay. that. Okay. That'd be That's a better. Fine. That'd be a better option, dude. I don't want you to pay two thousand dollars more for the same watch just because the market's gone up. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay. Can That's you fine. bring it by my store this afternoon, or I'll come get it from you? Uh, I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be there with my this afternoon, actually. Okay. Text me. I'm in Frisco right. right now, but I'll be up there later. Okay, sounds good. Okay. All, all, right. all right, later, dude. Give me all Anthony's receipts. Yeah, I'm going to write Time you a check. gentlemen, all of them. Bring it in my office. Actually, come here, guys. I want you to see all this stuff that's a secret. Look at, oh my gosh. I hope nobody takes all this. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to do push-ups because he's shy on camera. Do what? Are you going to do push-ups and jumping jacks? <laughs> I love Marathi, so funny. Okay. And then the big gang instead, they're the super popular three carats. You know, they go six carats to ten carats, ten carats, half a carat each. I think I would do the best with bracelets, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Maybe necklaces. Mm -hmm. You have a customer? No, not yet. But do you have any bracelets? Yeah. I can take. Yes, whatever. And try. You want. I need. Coco, um, Coco is the expert in this. I want. Can I do three of these bracelets and three? I'll tell you what, let me take six today. I'll bring them back to you Friday afternoon. That way you, I'm not taking them out of your store on the weekend and I'll get video and everything for, I want to get a bunch of video for social media and then I'll bring them back and come back and next Monday I'll come back and get some more to have them in store. What do you think about this? Steve. Oh, I thought he was going to text me. Or maybe he did. I've been wrapped up. Um, hey, tell Steve to introduce himself to y'all. I had dinner with him last night, and I like his software idea. If y'all aren't busy, have him explain. Or have what he explained to me explain it to you. 
if that makes sense. Because I like his stuff. We're going to try it out. Tell him I'm still wrapped. I'm still stuck up here. Actually, ask, see if he can come in tomorrow morning. Can you come in tomorrow morning? What time? I'll be here at 9. Okay, that's fine. He'll be here at 10. Okay, cool. Tell him I'm sorry. I'm just still stuck up here. Thank you. All right. Oh, I got to take this. Let me come back on Monday. Let me come back on Monday. All right. Middleman, or no one, they won't, they won't give you the time of day. What, what do I need to tell them? Oh, well, uh, are you talking about for the, propo the proposal I sent in? No, for the, for the, well, did you send them a proposal for the so I, so I had, Travis Booth is a commercial realtor, and he came as a recommendation um, from one of my clients. So yeah. I, I got with him, and he put together a proposal with the terms that I was going to offer them. It was similar to the terms that I offered on the space we have now. I told him I'd yeah. sign a five-year contract. I would, I'd pay the, what they're asking on rent right now, and I would, do, uh, I would ask for zero tenant improvements. And we'd build the space out in two months, be open. I want to be open for business by the end of September, and we're going to make it a destination-style shopping experience, unlike... So, so, so what, how, why wouldn't they do Because I mean, she says that they're, they? up until last week, it's been undecided because the building wasn't, the, the sell wasn't final. Now that the sell's final, I put in, we put in that proposal, and she says that they talked and the, they haven't decided what they want to do with the space yet. Plus they're talking with another retailer, but my guy, but Travis told me that this other retailer is not acting aggressive. They're not acting like they're in a hurry or anything and they can't decide what they want to do with the space and what they don't understand. The problem is pu pushing my vision through multiple it's multiple realtors and multiple words of mouth it's like playing telephone by the time yeah. i explain my vision to marissa yeah, here's the problem is they they don't consider you and you know a, an a tenant so they're trying to find a better deal is what they're doing what's to you. what's better than jewelry like, high-end so, jewelry so a tenant is totally based on how big you are like if you're like you know like corporate level because because they get you know they get a higher multiple if they go to sell the 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 space you know or the whole building okay we're um, gonna do we're gonna do 40 million in sales just out of that little yeah. bullshit, three 300 square foot uh, did office did you send them financials not yet no we haven't gotten there yet see, the, see that's the other thing if you're realtor your realtor should have sent them your financials to begin with now that i know the story I'll, let me talk to him and uh i'll get back to, i'll get back in touch with but him. now now so you can relay the message we're not just going to keep it watches if we get a space like that to make sense of it we're going to partner with the diamond jeweler or a diamond dealer and bring in engagement rings, jewelry, diamonds, all of that. The rest of it's going to be a de you know, it's going to be a bat. It's right. going to be the only place that has the kind of inventory we have. And I can bring yeah. in another $5 million in watches. There's nowhere else in Texas you can go and look at the kind of inventory we're going to have when we get that space. Right. Okay. Well, let me let me chat with him and I'll uh, I'll be in touch. Okay. All right, let me know. Right. Thank you. Uh we're taking Audi or what are we driving? Walk across the street. Ah. <laughs> Let's drive. That's why I put a hoodie on. Where is it? It's literally right. It's that building right there. Really? Yeah. There's two ends. There's this one that's faced this way, which I like the positioning of it better. Right. Because you see all this. Hey, right. Is somebody there to show us? Yeah. You've got more exposure, but it's got less uh, work to be done. Less work? Yeah. Don't, well, you're going <laughs> to, when you walk in the other one, you're going to be like, this, I'm out. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What's up, man? How are you? Travis? Can you, be on, you? you can be on video, hey. right? Hey, Marco. How's it going? Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this, oh, actually, it is way bigger than I thought. So I the, uh, owner of the property. Okay. Also in charge of leasing. So now I like this more because when I was looking through the windows and the curtains last night, it looked like it was just a slither of thing. But this, I really like. I'm told these are non bug bearing. We got an architect to come out and look. They're not. So we can take them out? That's what I'm told. Awesome. How many square foot is this? It's roughly 2,600 on the first floor. Okay. We got two restrooms at the back. This is a restroom? Uh, or... Well, you can get there that way or you can come this way. That's pretty nice. I'll tell you what we're wanting to do. The space, whatever space we occupy, we want to do a destination style uh -huh. jewelry store. Have you been to Dabul? Yeah. So Dabul, the left hand side is jewelry side, the right hand side, yeah. jewelry and watches, the right hand side, it's like upstairs. A, a man cave. And then Art. there's an upstairs private gallery. Yes. That's what we want. 
but even different. We want a full YouTube studio. I want a private lounge. We want possibly a watchmaker studio that's all encased in glass so people can watch their stuff be worked on. And then multiple multiple spots for salespeople to sit right. with their client, have a drink, have a coffee, talk in private, do their things. Well, it's, a, it's a very destination. You're so gonna like the second I floor. think you're going to really like the second floor. What kind of lease term are you thinking about, looking? Do you have an idea? Zaza is on the lease for two more years. Okay. We've got the right to kick with a 90 day bonus. So. Oh, wow. This is cool. Unfortunately, it's occupied. But oh, okay. It's killer. Tall ceilings, marble bath, marble kitchen. So that would probably be like the private. How many, how many square feet is it? So yeah. upstairs, we're right at about the flyer, yeah, two thousand ish. So two offices. This passes through to the kitchen, and again, there's a bath. It's a nice office. But you were talking about client events. Off that suite, there's. I mean, this could be. I mean, I could this see cool. putting green. I could see all kinds of crazy stuff out there. I would say this is mine and your office. Oh, well, can we just get two separate offices or have one office? We don't have that many. Well, the, all the other guys are going to need one. I think that oh, would be true. like, all that could be like photo room, cells, office, back end Are stuff. we getting this room too? Whatever this is? Yeah. So it's one giant room right now. Um, this is the back side of that green door. Okay. But again, tall ceilings. Oh, wow. Light all the way around. We'll definitely have to put a dead man door downstairs yeah. because it's right on the street. So that's perfect prime right. target. Oh, there's people here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I think he did say that opens. What's up with that? Oh, is yeah. there people living in there? It's part of the Tom Sala's house. If they have a problem with that, you just <laughs> peeked in there, just tell them $500 off their first watch purchase. <laughs> it said exit, so I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay. And then there was like people in there. I was like, oh, later. <laughs> so we would have um, to install, at, just for safety for us, Retractable bars, everything. Environment. Okay, let's talk numbers. What's up? Let's talk numbers. What they're quoting, mm -hmm. gross. So I say gross, I mean, that's like your all-in price. Okay. It's 16,400 per month for the first floor, and then approximately 7,300 for the second floor. You said 16,000 for the first floor, 7,000? So it's 23,700 is the asking for both floors. How low can we get it? And then they're not gonna do any TI, are they? We can negotiate time. It's all going to be subject to term and credit, but yeah, you absolutely can. I'd rather pay for all the tenant improvements if we get a lower monthly rate, and we'll just take a loan out on the on the TI, stretch it out. But if our overhead, I want a five-year lease minimum with the option to renew. But here's what I want. I don't know how they do this. A five-year lease locked in at whatever rate we agree to, and then the option after five years to extend another five years sure, really at, a, at a percentage increase, not okay. not based on, like I don't want to pay, let's say 18,000 a month or 15,000 a month on this, which is where I see it, 15,000 a month if we do all the tenant improvements, which when this building's done, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Because I'm not going to have anything. Did and it's going to make this real estate more valuable. I like So we're gonna go dispute this credit card charge and we file a police report properly. Hopefully they get somewhere with it because 99.9% .9 of the time I've dealt with the police, they have absolutely gotten nowhere with any of the cases. I've ended up solving most of them myself. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> sad. I'm like, here's the info, boys. We're we gonna get them. Uh, no, that's not how it works. I'm like, what? <laughs> 
they literally will they do everything they can not to get it done they'll, they'll they have every loophole in the world to not do what they're supposed to do and it absolutely drives me mad i'm loaded with tons of info i can do it myself let's see if they can do it gentlemen timepiece is pi magnum pi we have the red ra yeah, we're on the red ferrari okay. what's up is this gmt with this faded bezel l serial L serial faded. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a ninety. What's the, what's the reference on this? One six seven one zero. Okay, and what did you buy it for? Eleven five. Eleven five. Okay, who'd you buy it from? Uh, he's a vintage dealer out of Florida. All right, good. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right, All right. bye. Are you trying to make a fraud report? Uh, uh, police report, credit card fraud. Yeah, yes. Come on in. Which way? All right, well, basically, we made the police report, and they just said in 48 hours we can get the, the actual report, and other than that, they're going to look into it. There's a lot of gray areas they discussed, basically, because he was wearing a mask. It's the burden of proof is going to be far more difficult, which is really annoying, so um, thanks, COVID, for that one. You know, at least all we can do is the report for our, for our side so we can get our merchant services back on so we can start collecting credit cards again. We'll update you as soon as we can, guys. This will be a, you know, fun little adventure, but we're mostly doing this to get our credit cards back because, I mean, we, this is pretty much a loss. We're not gonna ever see that watch. And more than likely, I predict that guy will walk away free because our system is uh, jacked up. Cool, I, I live over in San Diego. I, I recently got into watches. Well, I recently got a call from the AD and I picked up the, the red coral dial OP. Nice. Yeah, and um, so I was really lucky to get that, but you know, it's just sitting in my in my safe deposit box at the bank. On my wrist, it doesn't it doesn't really hold a candle to to my 43 millimeter sea dweller. And so I was thinking about maybe unloading that. I was gonna see what you guys might want to offer that. Basically, I've I've never worn it. Um, then I got the box of papers and so forth. Uh, for the red coral. Yeah. 41, yeah. right? Yeah. Typically, I'm paying around nine to ninety-five for those. They sell for around like ten five, maybe eleven ish. But you know, with the market being volatile, we usually pay a little bit lower. We could consign it, and we'll sell it for max market value. You know, if you uh -huh. give, we usually take a thirty-day term, and then on that term, we would uh, say sell it for. Let's just say it sells for twelve, right? And then we would only take like a small percentage, and then give you whatever the difference was. I guess the process there would be just like pack it up and get insurance and ship it out from Dallas, I guess? Uh, no, we would provide you our, our label that's already fully insured. You don't have to, there's no burden on you. Uh, oh, and okay. then we would send that's you nice. a, a contract stating that we have your property, we have 30 days to sell it, but that's a Rolex, it'll sell faster than that, uh, and so forth. So it's a pretty simple process. We do this all the time. And payout's pretty quick, usually the next day. I, I've been like watching all your guys' YouTube videos. Are you the main guy or are you like the second guy? I'm the second guy, I okay, guess. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just um, watching more of the recent one, but um, I, I appreciate you guys' channel. It's just awesome. If I do sell my red coral dial, it'll be to you guys. And um, I... Um, you'll do really, really well with that red coral, for sure. You'll make, you'll make good money on it. I'll give you Mike's number and he'll uh, send you all the documents you need to consign that watch. Cool, sounds good. Perfect. Bye. Hello, this is... It's Marco. How are you? Hey, Marco. I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good, good. I just spoke to Anthony, and it looks like we still have to go pick up your box and papers for your Omega, because you bought a sandwich, correct? Uh, Sapphire sandwich. Yes, sir. Okay, so your box and papers are still with the um, with the previous owner of the watch, so we'll just have to go. I mean, we, 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 we regularly go see this guy, so we're going out there this weekend to get it. So We'll just have him drop ship it. It'll be easier, so expect it in the next couple of days. You know, I actually live right across the street from the Crescent. Oh. So it's not, it's, yeah, it's really not that big of a deal. It's, oh, we'll have him just ship it to our office. office oh, okay, we'll just send a label for the office. Hey, then. we'll just, yeah, t tell him we'll have him ship it to the office and it'll be here tomorrow. Okay, well, we'll tomorrow try to have it Tomorrow or uh, Thursday. Yeah, that's fine. I appreciate uh -huh. you guys uh, calling me back. I love the watch. I really do, you guys. Glad to hear you like Sounds it. Good. Well, we'll get back to you in the next day or so when it comes in. Perfect. Sounds All right. good, guys. Have Thanks. Good. All right, bye. What else do you have to do? I got to run and look at a house real quick at 1230. So I'm okay. going to leave here in a minute. Get a house? rent a house but oh. it's renting now is equivalent to buying because they require two years tax returns and fifty thousand up front why don't you just get an apartment 
I don't, Jeez. I'm not going to do that, but this, pe these people that have the house I'm looking at is just, it's a normal deal. It's just straight up rent. Oh, okay. But most people we're talking to, they're like, oh yeah, we've been offered 50,000. Oh, yeah. They're paying up rent right up front. It's Wait, like, are these, what are these? It's the markets. What's the deal with this SD43? This oh, thing's yeah, been sold is. like five times. No, I, it, it's, it's been sold once. Out. It is getting shipped. Okay. There you go. I mean, there's no like huge rush on that watch. I just want it done the next like you know, five days or so. Okay, let me call my guy. That dial with the baguettes is for an older press. Doesn't fit. The what? That baguette black dial is for an oh, older Oh, they were gonna press. put on the on the yellow gold press? Light MLP. Can we get in another one? Yeah. How fast? For what, the dial? Yeah. Oh, no, I just How told fast till, can we, till we can have the watch ready to um, put online? That's what I'm working on. I'm, I need to get a bezel for it, diamond bezel. Do what? Dude, are you f kidding me? Brand new $30,000 cabinet and it gets dinged the first day. That's awesome. Now, these are on. Alright, lock that. This one's, this is Yes. This is on consignment, right? It's on consignment. Okay. 38000 Okay. So it hasn't settled yet with us officially. He gave us cash. 10,000 cash. Yep. And, and then traded in. Traded in a watch into the. The sky Black Sky. Watch. He owes us 12K. Okay, balance. But 29. we just bought a Kermit from him. We sold him this for how much? 42. So technically, we owe him that watch. Okay. At 5K. Okay. All right. So I need to put a so link in this. Put the link on it. Oh. So your brother, are, wait, are we, does your brother get it for cost? No, no. We're, we're going to make it. How much are we trying to make on the on what? James Cameron. Is you, or who's buying that? My brother. He is going to buy it? Yeah. Well, not, not the older, he wants a new one. Did we find him a new one? Not yet. Oh, okay. April 20th, like fresh right now, 2021, but it's, our cost is 16 too. Isn't that a lot? It's what they're bringing now. That's why it doesn't make sense. See, well, that watch will sell for a Is it a deal? You can offer him 16. But I don't see them moving because they're you could sell one of those right now, brand new for seventeen and seventeen five. So if we got them down to sixteen, you would take sixteen five for it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Can we get a commitment? Yeah. yeah. Before uh, you I'll offer, pay. don't offer yet. Don't worry, I'll pay. Because you, if you offer, you sure? Yeah. Hold on. Because if you offer, if you say, well, you take this, it. Okay, just wait till he gets a commitment. It's gonna cost you sixteen five. It's the best. It's the best we can do right now. But it's brand new, April twenty twenty one. Do it. Okay. Okay. Just say sixteen thousand. Our label and sold. How you been? Man? All good. You liking the watch? Oh, it's right yeah, here. It's right here. You don't gotta take it out. I don't care. There you go. That's the forty three. And that's the bright link. What happened with that Explorer? They didn't do nothing to it. <laughs> I mean, they discontinued the current reference, but it still looks the same. So, yeah, updated the movement. They updated the movement. Yeah, a little thicker, yeah. but millimeter-wise, not too bad. Not much. Not enough to justify the 50th anniversary. Rumors are now going that in September they're going to do a special edition Explorer. And oh, that's, really? That's what, mm. that's what I'm hearing on here. Well, if uh, rumors are anything like this year, <laughs> how bad would I lose my <laughs> if I? I bought this. It's already lost its money. I mean, oh, really? I think that retailed at 60 something. You sell it for 35? Yeah. So I actually like it a lot. That's a, I mean, that's a, I've sold that watch a few times. That's a watch you can, brightly, you can beat the hell out of them and, and you can wear that on a construction site and you'll be fine. It'd be a safer bet than that. Or it'd be a cheaper, cheaper what do you alternative. Think of, uh, is like this versus like a Tudor? Like the, what is it, the Pelagos? I like that better. I do too, actually. I mean, I like Tudors, don't get me wrong, but they're gonna be a little, personally, I think they're gonna be a little more delicate than that. Like I said, doing what you do, out hands-on, that one you won't have to worry about. A Tudor you would have to worry about. Right. They've got, actually gone up. I sold that watch brand new for 3,000 like a year ago. I like that curved case or whatever it is that kind of like mm -hmm. matches the contour of your wrist. Yep. What would y'all do for that Explorer? Ours? Wait, oh. That's mine. Yeah. Oh, you want to like sell, sell it? Oh, <laughs> my bad. I didn't even see what you wore in here. I thought you. I thought this was ours. No, you're good, you're good. Um, 
What year is it? 19. Uh, where do you see 2019 216570 Polar? He's here right now. Yeah, I told him it'll sell for around 10 to 11 ish. As like really my comfort zone is 95. Y'all are the experts, but I haven't seen it for less than like 12. Like anywhere really. uh, yeah, that's asking. That's but it's new. That's new though. I haven't, for yeah. boxing papers, I haven't seen it less than like. I'm not trying to negotiate. <laughs> no, no, you're. Like mm. I mean, we can get signed it and just sell it for whatever. Take a fee for doing it if he wants. What would you like to get for it on consignment? Do you want to roll the money yeah, into that? Why don't we sell? Why don't we do this? You can sign this to us. Go ahead and take that. Once this sells, we just deduct that from this. Okay. Can do what, that? What would the, what what is the consignment be on that one? The Breitling yeah, Super Ocean. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. He, he hates <laughs> Bright. No, he hates Bright. He hates Brightling. I started with Brightling. He just hates Brightling. I, I like Brightling. I mean, y'all kind of like ruined my taste. Yeah, like, well, right. like, well we <laughs> look at. I mean. No, I know. I'm just giving y'all. I like Brightling too, but when you've got Rolex and Paddocks and Richard Mills hey, in front hey, of you, Anthony. what? Hey, arm wrestle him for it. <laughs> for the watch, dude. I'm not good at arm wrestling. I don't think you want to do that. I actually think his arm is bigger than Anthony's. Probably. <laughs> Nah, I don't care. I'm past those days. <laughs> I'm actually gonna. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. All right. That's what I wanted to know. So let's bring the box and papers for that. Okay. We'll sell it for you. Okay. Take that. Out of all the steel watches I've tried on, like. This is the one I like the best, just as far as like looking at it, you know. It's unique. Well, buy yeah, what you like. Don't buy what that's other. Not, that's kind don't of what buy what other people. That's kind of what I've been doing is like buying because I was like, well, I want a Rolex because it'll hold its value. Just I've for, sold like, my all the wrong reasons, kind of. Yeah, I of sold like, my collection like three times because I bought the hype. Well, I, my collection's full of hype watches now. Right. Don't get me wrong, but um, it's stuff that I really like. Right. Uh, but before that, I would buy stuff that other people liked, right. or because I could make money on it, right. and then I ended up selling it because I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you don't take it off your wrist, I just wanna see it. There you go, look I've just never seen one in person. Yeah, that's why I might keep it. It's because most people haven't ever seen it. I, that's the first one that we've